first thing you're going to do is turn on your robot. How you do that is by pressing the middle button and it can take up to a minute to completely boot up. So here we have our robot. As you can see, it is composed of the brick and once we turn it over, you can see the two motors which allow the robot to move forward and backwards and left and right, as well as the sensor that can detect color. And depending on what we tell it to do, we can program it to detect a certain color and move forward or backward or do a variety of things. We also have the wheels, and once we turn it back over, we can now go on to our programming. So the first thing that we want to do is connect it via Bluetooth. Your robot should show up as long as your Bluetooth is on on your computer. And if it doesn't show up, you may need to turn on Bluetooth on your robot as well. You can do that through navigating on the screen of your robot until you find Bluetooth and making sure that is checked. It should say Brick was successfully connected once it is. Once you have the program and you want to download it, you're just going to take the wire and plug it into the robot at the part that says PC and then the USB goes into the USB port on your laptop. You should see a download symbol next to the play symbol and you can just hit that and it should download. Another thing you want to take note of is making sure your sensors are connected into the right ports. So sensors will be connected to the number ports, think of numbers and sensors while motors will be connected into the alphabetically labeled ports. So A, B, C, and D will be for the motors, while one, two, three, and four will be for the sensors. So make sure that what you have connected on your robot aligns with what you have programmed on your computer. It can be a really easy and common mistake to make, so it's always good to check. So here is an example of our sensor in action. I have the program that when it sees blue, it will turn around. So you can see it doing it twice there, and then once the sensor is off of it, it does not move any longer. Here I've just programmed the robot to move forward and then to turn right. So you can hear the download of me downloading the program and then it completing the action when I press play. In the next video, we'll go over what each programming block means, but for now you can turn off your robot by pressing the back button and pressing the check mark when it asks you if you want to turn it off. Thank you.